The European Commission published a proposal on Wednesday that would introduce digital legal tender for, tender for use within the 20 member euro zone. The digital euro is meant to be used alongside the existing euro as an additional form of online payment and cannot be converted into cash. Unlike cryptocurrencies, it will have the backing of the European Central Bank. The EU Commissioner for Financial Stability, Mairead McGuinness, cited several reasons for the move to a digital tender. One is that the declining use of cash. But there is also a concern that other nations will dominate the digital economy if the EU doesn't take action. So far, Nigeria, Jamaica and several other Caribbean nations have fully launched centrally backed digital currencies. Another 53 countries are in the advanced stages of a rollout, including China, India, Japan and Brazil. Let's get more on this from DW correspondent Bernd Riegert in Brussels. Bernd, uh, good to see you. D tell us more about why EU regulators feel this digital euro is actually necessary. The EU Commission uh, says it wants to be part of the game. Uh, it feels uh, that it is necessary to have also a digital branch of the euro, which is the second biggest uh, currency in the world. And they want uh, to fulfill the wishes of consumers. There was a survey and consumers say, yes, we want that. And it also grants some kind of independence from payment systems like MasterCard or Visa, mm. which are all uh, seated in the United States. All right, you're paying with euro, I'm paying with euros. What are the practical benefits for consumers like you and me and other people within the eurozone of this digital euro? Well, paying with the euro, the digital euro, uh, sh uh, shall be possible without paying any fees. It would work like cash in your pocket, so you don't need the middlemen, uh, the payment systems um, anymore. It would be safe because the value is guaranteed by the European Central Bank uh, directly. Um, and uh, payments from one smart wallet to another smart, smart wallet are possible without any online connection, so you don't need all the technical stuff anymore. Bernd, say, uh, Bernd, critics say this digital euro can be more easily tracked, can be used for surveillance. Um, what do advocates of this digital euro say about that? Well, they say the opposite is true, because uh, the digital euro works uh, like cash. You don't have um, so much data involved as if you pay with MasterCard or Visa, because there is no name involved, there is no account involved, so you are not leaving much traces. And that's why the amount of uh, digital, digital euros you can have in your smart wallet is limited, actually, to 3,000 euros to avoid... Um, uh, yeah, something, some abuse and also money laundering. DW correspondent Bad Riegert in Brussels. Bam, thank you.